The following is a presentation of TFNN. Live at TFNN, the Money Masters. Now, your Money Masters, Tom O'Brien. And Steve Rhodes. Welcome, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate you being with us out here each and every day, growling and prowling. We get the Dow right now down 14, NASDAQ up 8, SPs are flat. We got gold down 620, silver's off 15, platinum's up 525. Uh, let's see, oil's up 92, your bonds down 18, the king dollar uh, is down 23, and uh, euro's up 17. You know, uh, good old king dollar, I, I think. Yeah. I think. The, the workout, you know, it's just grooving. You know what I mean? Building a little cause here. Yeah, you think you think it's uh, getting ready to pull back a little bit more? I think. Yeah, uh, no. I, I you think it's going to hold this area. I think it's going to hold this yeah. area. The way the way it's trading right now. So what we had yesterday is that you had an acceleration slightly in volume. Yeah. Twenty one thousand. Yeah. Today we're doing ninety five hundred. But the way that the setup is, you know, you're at 80.59, and it absolutely can, you know, slide down to that 79.80. Yes, you know, right, 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 it, right. But it's sliding down in a way that is a nice B to C of an ABC up. Right. Yeah, know? no question. So the real question is, you know, once it gets down there, you know, does it go sideways a little, you know? Uh, but it, it's coming down like it wants to be an ABC up. So yeah. uh, market-wise, it's going to be wild. And, of course, today... Um, the mover out here today is going to be Google. Google. Okay, so uh, they've got the earnings at their yeah. uh, after the hour. After, okay. the, after the close. After the close. I mean. Google is coming out with numbers, uh, and if we look at Google right now, uh, bottom line, they opened it higher, uh, sold it down thus far. I believe Intel yeah. also. Let's see, is Intel? Intel's coming out after the close too. Okay. You know, and those Intel's not operating correctly right now. Intel's had a heck of a run, but it's not operating. Correctly. It has had one heck of a run. Yeah, huge. Now the other the other chip stocks, man. Look at FFIV. Yeah. I mean, you're talking about okay, that thing um, really took off. Serious business. Yeah. And now what happened? You know, I, when I was, um, you and I were talking yesterday. Yeah. You know, and I was talking with with the folks on the air. The the sector itself. Yeah. Took off. And you know, Xilinx is ABC up, Altera is ABC up. Yes. Um, uh, a lot of them were ABC ups. Period. Yeah. But what they did, folks, is that they really finished their ABC up on one get go. Yeah. And they're coming into the July highs. So it's like running the marathon. Yeah. And the acceleration was actually too much before the end of the marathon. Yeah. It was interesting that to just see just that sector take off. Yeah. Yesterday. No. Just, no. Just big that time. Sector. Big time. You know. Big as, time. as I was going through all my scans, take a look and say, yeah. okay. Let me try to follow the money, see where else they might be tucking it. Follow couldn't find, the money. Couldn't, couldn't find it. Follow the money, you know, honey. Just, just couldn't find it. You know, and, and folks, uh, you know, if you haven't test drove the Tigers Den, come on to the Tigers Den. The Tigers Den, you know, we get about uh, 400 traders in there. There's always a, a, a good uh, 150 uh, in there at all times, and they make, uh, they, they not only make life easy in the trading business but for steve and i and all the other hosts, absolutely they, they also and we got it. folks watching their back yeah because <laughs> which is uh, great you the, know and, and thanks bill because uh, what we have is that uh, we get ibm coming out with numbers after the close we got microsoft coming out with numbers after the close we're just going to have a blast and folks this afternoon steve and i are going to be doing the five to six o'clock program too absolutely so we're going to be growling and prowling it's a beautiful thing dude. yes 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 totally yeah uh, so you know, yeah. So the the chip sector just really took off yesterday. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and uh, you know, I, I had uh, I think it was earlier, maybe about a week or two ago. I was taking a look at getting in on a trade that got away from us. Okay, but man, you know that thing just really. Yeah. You know, we was taking a look at the triple using the uh, I think at the S O X L. Oh, S O S X. Yeah. yeah, you know, or you know that thing had really just taken off. Yeah, that's this is uh, so. Let's see this. Oh, that's that's ours. That's that's this is the I share S O X L I think that oh, was yeah. the, I think that's the long the uh, long side of that uh, uh, position. Oh yeah! Oh my God! The three you know, times it was up 14 percent or so I oh, think yesterday. Look at, look at that. Get gapped up a little bit this morning too. Yeah, and that's uh, well, you know what? That's what binary tracements are all about. Huh? No, yeah. no doubt yeah. about it. Yes. You know, absolutely. Um, you know, last night uh, in Asia, uh, you know what you had. We're gonna we're gonna get the shot to get into Shanghai, folks, and it's gonna be interesting watching this whole thing shake out because 
the Shanghai last night, all it did, it came up, you know, twenty nine bucks. Yeah. And with good juice, right? Okay, right, but right, it, right, I suspect right. it's going to get a little bit tired here, and um, you know, so we're at uh, twenty two ninety six, and you know, you want to be basically all over at this at twenty one seventy. Yeah, yeah. The uh, you know, it, it it looks like you know, so it looks like you know, all these patterns are really setting up where you've got either a butterfly pattern, you know, or a Gartley pattern that right. are setting up, which would be so nice. I mean, to actually see this these types of patterns setting up like this on daily charts. Right. You just don't see it all the time. You don't. You rarely see it. You know, you've got no, no, all of these things sure. setting up. You know, like this. For and sure. And the cues. You know, the cues are probably going to be the one that's going to give us a first piece of information. Makes sense with uh, with regard to what's going on uh, as far as uh, earnings coming out. And uh, in fact, when are, are Apple coming? Is Apple's earnings coming out this week? Also, I believe so. You, oh, look at that! I could. Oh, the, the, I just pulled up those. Oh, okay. Is that a, is that a butterfly? That? that almost looks like a butterfly. It, uh, and is it what a little more? I think I I think that it does. Yeah. In fact, I, I know. It, it, yes, it, yes, it does. I think it's got like four forty something. Okay. Uh, writ, written over it. Apple and, and is uh, the twenty fourth. Okay. So uh, next week. We'll do yeah, twenty fourth yeah, Monday. 24th. Okay. Monday. Okay. Yeah. And so, you know, it looks like the Qs want to go ahead and get up to about 60, 61 area. You know, right around 61. Would have a nice 1.272 expansion. Um, yeah, and you hit 59.84 today. Yeah. I like the setup, man. So we have, let's see. So we took out. A 59.80 happened to be a, a 1.6 million expansion off of the uh, so December 5th. 40 million area. versus 39. Oh, no volume. Versus 46. Okay. And then, you, yeah, you're dealing with 104 million. Yeah. You know? I mean, you take a look at the X point on this baby, and, you know, so you got the volume on the uh, bottom, this bottom red line. Just, right. Uh, just up in this. It, you, if you were redoing your uh, book, right. right, The Art of Time in the Trade, you, right. would, you, would, you would probably use this as an example. No, I didn't. If we watch as we watch this play out, right? No doubt. Because how hard was it for you to find Tiger Gartley's? Hard. Hard, right? Yeah, totally. I mean, tiger butterflies, tiger uh, butterflies. That's tiger right. butterflies. Tiger butterflies are the hardest, right? right? Yeah. And what happens? The reason being, folks, is that you have to have three failures of you know basically a, a technical setup in order to have a tiger butterfly, yeah. which is makes it beautiful. That's I mean that's that's the key because that's what you're banking on. Huh? You know? Exactly. Yeah. So that's yeah. Uh, that's that's beautiful. Yeah. It is. So so for the, you know for the next version, we'll make sure that we get all these tiger butterflies out there, so we that's, get the charts off to the side. And yeah. They can put the no, put, the, put, start, the, put I, the new graph in. There. I just start saving them. Yeah. Right? Believe me, I know. I no, know. Okay. No doubt. No doubt. Um, let's see. So the DAX. The DAX is not. DAX is struggling to get up over the uh, swing point. Yeah. It hasn't even gotten all the way to the high unless it, unless it's done it here in the in the. So you know, sixty four uh, thirty. Or so. No, it got sixty four twenty. That's it. Yeah, so it's still just it's yeah. still sitting up there, you know, at the top, and that volume wise. So yesterday, yesterday had some. So had some increasing volume in the DAX, you know, saying that okay, I was going to build some cause, some energy right. to get up over it. But uh, really surprised it wasn't able to do that this morning, especially with the euro. The euro's made a a relatively nice bounce, right? You know, off right. of, off of those lows, right? Yeah, the harmony is amazing, isn't it? Yeah, oh, it is. Uh, yeah. you know, we didn't get a chance because because uh, you weren't able to join me uh, yesterday morning. But you know, with all the downgrades right. out there, and then downgrading the EFSF, the European Financial I Stability know. Fund, before I, they really had it funded. That's right. Right, that's and get right. A, getting it downgraded. Isn't that crazy? I, yeah, I know, I know. You got to love but, it. Uh, yeah, but yeah, they're still you know still out there selling debt. Oh yeah, you know, no problem. France now is selling machine. <laughs> They're a selling machine, man. There's no two ways about yeah. it. Yeah, and I thought you had a, you know, you've had a number of really, and I really appreciate you bringing all the different uh, thought processes and folks right. to the table. I, really, yesterday's shows were two great, you know, sets of uh, interviews. Yeah, we had really. Rich, we had Richard Love for a full yeah. hour, which yeah. was really cool. And uh, actually, one of the tigers that were listening. Um, knew where Andrew McGuire was. Oh, really? Which is no, cool. is he, he was the guy over in Europe. He's the London? London guy. Okay. And we sent him an email this morning. So hopefully oh, no we kidding. can get him on. Oh, yeah, that's right. pretty cool. Yeah, it yeah is. just the trail of detail and, you know. No, and, I know. And, and, I know. I mean, and I, and I want to get it right from his mouth. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then, of course, Sam. Somebody's got to be writing a book on this. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, they should be, you know. And then The Sam, book and then the movie. Well, the book and then the movie. And then uh, we can't let uh, Sorkin do that. No, he's already done. He won't. He, he won't do it. He won't do it. I when I interviewed him, even uh, for Too Big to Fail, he was good, but he's careful. 
Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, now now he's careful as 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 he was even, as, as his flag is rising. He was careful right. even then. Yeah. He wouldn't he wouldn't commit that you know they're basically fraudulent transactions. Basically. Yeah. Well, now because he's know? now he's inside the game. Yeah. No. No. Right. No, yeah. Yeah. You know, I like I like his questioning though. I think he's um, he's really good at what he does. You yeah. know, I, he puts thought into asking the questions for sure. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. he, he opens it up. Um, so that that was good. I thought the uh, the guy that you had from uh, yeah, uh, fund up in Boston. Yeah, he was good. You know, I know. I thought that was a yeah. really good interview. Right. You know, and and what I, what I what I like about that is you know the mindset of the of the money managers is just trying to get just you know they can just get a six percent return. An eight yes. percent return. Right. And that's that's their mindset, right. you know. And right. I want to drive off the cliff when I hear something like that. Yeah, right. No, no, I'm with you. I'm with you. You know. And what we have done, folks, which is pretty cool, if you, if you noticed, is that we have changed the structure um, of the the, the clock um, at TFNN. So what happens is that um, in my afternoon shows, you're going to hear a lot more interviews, and you're going to hear them at thirty five past the hour. Yeah, and that's why we changed the, the structure. Yeah. Um, it's was, not just his clock; it's all of our clocks. That's I know. If you will. I, if you we will. change them all. <laughs> <laughs> well, that you gives know. everyone more breathing room. You know uh, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, once we get once we get used to it, he changed our pattern. Can you yeah, believe that, totally, folks? Totally. Now it's all. Now we all got to grow. That's beautiful. It is. That's right. I, it is absolutely. Let's get a Scott in Orlando. Hey, Scott, what's going on? How are you doing today, Tom? So, Steve. Doing great, good. man. Having a good day out there. Oh, real excellent day, actually. Uh, I picked up some Netflix ninety dollar uh, March calls last week, and uh, looks like it's running pretty well today. I want to see what you thought about it. Okay, so let's take a look. You got Netflix uh, low sixty two, the highs three hundred four. So let's see. What hey Scott, do you do you use their service? Just out of curiosity. No, you don't. I did a few years ago. Okay, and what what caused you to uh, drop it? Just that uh, you weren't watching the movies, or yeah, I just ran out of time. <laughs> yeah, I understand that piece of it. Yeah, and now, okay, so you're in the money good, right? Yes. And how many do you have? I just have uh, four. Four, good. You probably should sell two right now and get your money back. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, ASAP. Well, what happens, folks, when this accelerates up so quick? What he what he got off of this? I'm sure he, it just went from ninety two to a buck three. But also what you're going to have is that the premium, well, your, your, your delta is almost in, well, it is in the money, but your premium is still a little bit big probably. Because right. 107 is going to stop this dead in its tracks. You know? And what you may want to do is just take the whole thing off, man. You know? Because it's not going to do uh, what it needs to do today. It needs, it needs 30 million shares today. And right. you only get 3.7. Well, I'm already up 33%. I don't want to be too greedy. Take it all, man. Sounds good. Gotta gotta like those trades. No, it's huge. It's huge, man. You know, cooking, brother. Thanks. Thirty-three percent. There you go. For four days. Yeah. And that's the, the key is, folks, is taking it. What you have to understand is that accounts don't go up thirty-three percent in two or three days. Uh, it's it's the, called running a business and collecting your receivables. That's right, right? baby. You gotta collect the receivable coming at me. That's right. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien, you stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. X-Story Gold Mines, an NYSE Amex-listed company trading under the symbol XG, is slated to be the newest gold-silver producer in Argentina. X-Story is forecast to produce more than $250 million in bullion annually, beginning in 2013, at a cash cost of less than $200 for each ounce of gold produced. That forecast will make X-Story one of the highest margin operators in South America and a sector leader in the mining industry. X-Story has $50 million in its treasury, having spent over $60 million to date on drilling and engineering. The ultimate size of its Argentina discovery could be determined by year-end, as results from the six drills operating at the site are fully assessed. To find out more about X-Story Gold Mines and their exciting growth potential, click on their banner on the front page of TFNN.com or check them out on the NYSE Amex under the symbol XG. TFNN is proud to bring you the cutting edge of investment newsletters. Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Ken is a top-down investor who lets price and volume in the major stock indices tell him when to be in the market and when to be out. By using his unique blend of fundamental and technical analysis, Ken will protect your hard-earned capital while realizing breakout gains. 
Go to TFNN.com today, click Investment Newsletters, and get Ken Shree's Ultimate Growth Stocks free for two weeks. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective and maximize your returns. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. In 1929, Joe Kennedy had $4 million. By 1932, he grew it into $180 million. All this during the Great Depression. The good thing about economic difficult times is that the worst economy can produce the best rewards in the shortest period of time. In fact, during the last 130 years, 61% of that time has been spent in recession. How would you like the strategies that are bulletproof against the turmoil of our economy in these fast-changing times? For the last quarter of a century, I've studied and used the secrets used by millionaires and billionaires. These are bulletproof strategies that will absolutely astonish you. I'd love to introduce you to these concepts that will absolutely change your life. You'll learn the three ways to grow any business exponentially. I'm Steve Rhodes, co-host of The Money Masters with Tom O'Brien and host of The Trader's Edge, both seen daily at TFNN.com. If you're even a little bit interested in accumulating wealth, providing a better life for you and your family, then go to TFNN.com, look under Breaking News, and click on the Get Steve Rhodes Special Report link, and I'll email you this free report, Pathways to Wealth. Here's what people are saying about Tiger TV. Let's go to John in Tampa. Hey, John, what's going on? I'm Tom. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. You having a good day out there? A wonderful day. I love your Tiger TV. I watch it every day. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Oh, man, I appreciate you out there watching it. How long have you been watching the Tiger TV? I watch it almost a month now, and it's just it's wonderful. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, yes, it's cool. You see the charts and everything. Thanks so much for the hard work. Tiger TV, a great news service from TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Goldfields. For more information, just click the Goldfields banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate you being with us growling and prowling every day out here. Um, you know, time just flies. Oh, it does. So now your workshop is not no, even in a not week. Not even a week. Yeah, we just, you know. Next it, Wednesday. Yeah, next Wednesday. 6.30 to 7.30. 6.30 7.30. And, you know, what, I, what I'm asking folks, and I'll do it on this show, too, because I don't, I, I often don't ask for gifts. I love receiving. I love okay, when the universe right. provides me gifts. But, but what, what I really want to be able to do is, is just ask the listeners here, you know, is to just please tell somebody in their life that, right. that either owns a business, runs a business, runs a division of a business, okay. wants to start a business, yeah. to just have them go over to the uh, website, sign up, because in, in that hour, the information that I will provide in there, it, right. is really, it is really the difference between being able to go from where you're at to where it is you want to go. I know that folks can, can take what I'm going to teach them right. and more than double their business. Right, you know, more than double. And we're business. all in all, business, and we're all in business. Oh, I mean, absolutely. The, the, the reality, folks, yeah. is that we're all in business. Yeah, which yeah. is so cool about you know, you're you're letting me do this and us and and to keep moving the Go Long America program you know, because it's time. outside of our normal stuff that we do. But but in reality, it's and, all about helping. Well, how you started the whole thing out about and, helping and, 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 your no, no. neighbor, keeping it in the community. It's quality of life. Yeah, it's quality of life, and it's making all of us better every day. You know, I just said to Steve. Well, actually, we, we were just talking about the, you know, the administration, they axed the, the pipeline, right? Yeah, yeah. And this isn't Republican or Democrat, folks, okay? But, but what's so weird about the whole deal, you know, Steve said, you know, we need someone, a third person in there that can get along with both parties. And That's right. You know, my best experience, no doubt, you know, to this day, and I was too young at the time to really understand it, but I did understand it, was when Reagan came in. Yeah. And... January 3rd, you know, 1980, and basically he says, we're getting rid of these regulations, and we're, and we're doing this. And, I, and on the way of work this morning, I was thinking about this. I says, you know what? I says, what should happen is that, you know, we should have someone 
in power yeah. that flat out says, hey, listen, we're here to do business, yeah. and God help you if you do spill anything around this. Then you get fines, you get this, you get that, but you got to be able to do business. That's what, that's, that's what the essence of, and that's where the job, that's... No, it is, it, it is. It's a mindset. It's a, <laughs> absolutely a mindset, okay, of doing business, and, but what our prob our biggest problem, folks, I think our biggest problem, it's us against them, and it's us against the bureaucrats, flat yeah. out. Yeah. And I don't care what's a Republican, it's us, they're... I mean, the payoffs are extraordinary. Yeah. The you only right, have to right, pay right, you right, only right, have to right. pay off five hundred, six hundred people, yeah. right, to get what you want. Right. That that is a bad scene. No, there's no question. It's absolutely a bad scene. Which which is why you know both both you and I, you know, I mean, in, in, you know, independent of each other, this morning are thinking the same thought. You know, I'm hopping in my car, well, driving on in, and I'm saying to myself, no, I don't want to talk politics here, folks, but I absolutely believe, you know, there needs to be a third. Pers an independent person, if you will, it's not coming from either of the two parties. Uh, that that is able to, like you say, is going to be the CEO. It's going to be the leader. Well, I, Somebody that's able to move others, yeah. you know, so that so that we work closer together. But you know that it's. I, I really learned this from you, though. I, I actually got this. Yeah. Okay, just so you understand, right? Yeah. It, I got this from Stephen. The way I got it, folks, is this. You know, you, you concentrate on different things, but. You've been on, you know, you're saying to me, hey, we need an independent energy policy. Right, and right, that right, right. And that's right. what we don't have. And, and then, they, so that was the, the same thing that going through my head, and I really started sure. thinking about it. I sure. said, okay, hold it. We do need an independent policy because what that does is unshackle us, oh, my okay, oh. from everything. Oh, Huge. That that means better quality Huge. of life, you know. And we know that energy is the name of the game. Yeah, you know. I mean, it's, it's where, part, where it's, the, it's part you, of life. You, you live and die by energy. Yeah, there's, there's no way energy is. You know, resources are a big deal. And but you know, independently, you know, we have it. So. Yeah, no question, no question. It's a beautiful thing. Thank it. you. That's right. No, no, seriously, man. Let's get a Rick in British Columbia. Hey, what's going on, brother? Hey, how you guys doing today? We're doing great, man. You having a good day up there? Real good. Yeah? Real good. Hey, Real what's good. going on with the hockey? Is the, is the craft, uh, t what's going on with the, that thing is happening again, right? They are. Yeah, they are. Actually, a friend of mine went, it's funny, you know, life's a journey, you just, you know, you certain things happen. That, a, friend that's of mine, right. a, fr a friend of mine went to Terrace, which is a community about 100, uh, 60 miles as a crow flies, about 120 miles. As a crow flies. Long. <laughs> and he put a little, he put a little ad in the paper, uh, you know they're bigger than us. Uh, do you want? Because you know, he'd been in Smithers, but he moved there. And for about a month, they had meetings. Oh, we can't do it. And they made the top ten. And the next thing you know, um, the next thing you know, they were in the top ten. So the so the community really uh, got wound up, and and they ended up winning it. So uh, oh, cool. But, but he put a little ad in the paper. Yeah. Waited, and one lady who. Um, was involved with tourism, whatever. She emailed him three times because he wanted more emails, but she was the only one, right? And he said, "Well, if you follow the pattern that Smithers, the community I live in, you know, just follow the steps, and I guarantee you we'll finish in the top ten. Sure enough, but they ended up winning it. And, and what happens, folks? You need to explain to the folks. It, there's plenty of new. Well, here we'll explain when we get back, folks. It's 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 a it's a. They give you a hundred thousand dollars, right, to to build a new rink or something, right? Well, they donate a hundred thousand to the to, to the rink. That's right. To the rink. Ah, uh, it's a beautiful thing. You stay right there, Rick. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. Uh, we're going to be coming right back, folks. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. If you want to get great trade setups and equity as well as the option market, come over to TFNN.com and test drive my daily newsletter, Market Insights, for two weeks absolutely free. Each trade setup comes with a profit projection as well as stock placement. Included in Market Insights is a Twitter alert service. This allows you to take advantage of intraday setups. Volatility is back in the markets. What does that mean to you? To me, it spells short-term opportunity each and every day. The days of trending up on light of volume are gone. We have come off the highs with volume across the globe. Don't get caught in the complacency trap. Many of the indices have given back two months of trading in one week. We have a trader's market. You can take advantage of this trader's market by test driving my daily newsletter, Market Insights, free for two weeks. Market Insights will give you the edge you're looking for in the markets. Go to TFNN.com under Newsletter. Hit the Market Insight tab for your two-week free test drive right here, right now.
In just December of last year, the price of gold was down over 10%. In today's highly volatile gold market, you need someone in your corner that understands the complex relationships that exist within the price of gold, as well as within a variety of gold equities. Whether it's the South African gold miners and knowing how the RAND dollar relationship will affect their bottom line, or understanding how John Paulson's $5 billion trade in the GLD can move the market, Tom O'Brien gives you the direction you need to become a better trader each week in his newsletter, The Gold Report. With over 20 individual equities covered and almost another 20 on the potential watch list each week, in addition to covering the XAU, HUI, GLD, and Dollar, The Gold Report is a great source for any trader that is looking to be diversified in today's volatile gold market. For your 30-day free trial to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report, log on to TFNN.com today. Don't miss out on this great offer. Act now. What type of investor are you? Conservative, moderate, or aggressive? No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. Help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan from Morgan Stanley Smith Barney. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportion of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley of Smith Barney believes a carefully selected portfolio can lower your volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what asset allocation and a Morgan Stanley Smith Barney financial advisor can do for you. Call Angelo O'Brien, financial advisor and certified financial planner of the Clearwater, Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Smith Barney, LLC, member SIPC. Attention business owners, managers, and entrepreneurs. Studies show that 1 in 25 businesses last 10 years and less than 1% of all businesses generate $5 million in annual revenues. Would you like to learn the skills that separate these businesses from all of the rest? It isn't about working 10 times harder. It's about working 10 times smarter. And I can show you how. Absolutely free, no strings attached. I'm Steve Rhodes, co-host of The Money Masters with Tom O'Brien, seen daily at TFN.com, past owner of businesses at Disney, Universal Studios, Vegas Casinos, and top destinations throughout the world. Join me Wednesday, January 25th at 6.30 p.m. for a one-hour online webinar where I'll teach you how to get your dream clients, get past the one person that stands between you and the most influential people in the world, and show you the three ways to grow your business exponentially. Go to the front page of TFNN.com under Breaking News and click on Pathways to Growth, where preparation meets opportunity. That's Wednesday, January 25th. Register now for your Pathway to Growth, part of our Go Long America program on the homepage of TFNN.com. Decisions shape your destiny. Shape yours now. This segment is brought to you by Crocodile Gold. For more information, just click the Crocodile Gold banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Steve Roach, Tom O'Brien, and you stay right there, folks, because coming up at 11 o'clock, uh, we have uh, Kate Stalter with the Small Business Roundup. Uh, uh, that's uh, out of Santa Fe, New Mexico. Beautiful thing. You ever been to, been to Santa Fe? Oh, I love Santa Fe. I've Have been, you been I've, hot air ballooning there or anything? Uh, uh, Angie has. Oh, cool. Angie did tell hot air ballooning. You know, I was in Santa Fe. I have a, a lot of great experiences in Santa Fe. I was in Santa Fe uh, in 1971 oh. when no one was yeah. in Santa Fe. The yeah. only thing in Santa Fe at that point, unfortunately, uh, you know, the the Indians, you know, basically have they've they've had a hard time with yeah. alcohol. Yeah. And Santa Fe at that point. Um, and this is the right at the square, folks, which is just amazing, is that, you know, uh, just the amount of homeless people there were just amazing at that really? point. Really? Yeah, huge, wow. huge. I'm talking about hundreds. Wow. And uh, st I still loved it, though. It didn't yeah, matter. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I basically, I, I had a camp up, and I stayed there for, uh, I was there for over six weeks. Oh, cool. Uh, and it was amazing. It's just an amazing place. And it, what is really wild, though, is coming back to it later and then seeing uh, the total changes yeah, yeah. and the money. Yeah. I, was, I was there. I was in. Uh, what I had done is that I, I took a camper with my dogs for three months. Yeah. And just camped. Oh, no. And then I got that, lost. That's really I got, Folks, <laughs> let me tell you something. One of the wildest things, I actually got lost in the forest, right? And that, that was like, oh, man. Every morning I'd go out, you know, I, I always got up early, even then. Yeah. So I'm out at 5 o'clock in the morning and I'd go walking with my dogs. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I got turned around. I says, oh, man, I don't know where I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't get back to 8.30 that oh, night. Oh, my goodness. And you know oh what happened? This is, this is wicked. One of my dogs, right, 
went one way and the other one stayed with me. I said, oh, I got a feeling he knows where he's oh, going. No. Oh, no. He great. was back the whole time. Yeah, and you know how I get that's out? True. I got out. The way I got that's out, true. folks, is that I found an electrical wire. Oh. And I, I followed the wire okay, and I ended up oh, being 12 good. miles away oh, from where, the, where it was. That's smart. Smart thinking. Rick, oh. you ever been to Santa Fe? Rick, you ever been to Santa Fe? Uh, no, I haven't. No, okay. We got to have our reunion down. Yeah. We got to go hot air balloon. We got to get all the tigers together. Yeah. Go to Santa Fe and do some hot Angie air balloon. And she had a blast doing that. She did it with her aunt Lynn. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Well, I, 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 I do want to go to Florida, Tom. See you one day, but uh, I don't know when. I just want to thank you for. Uh, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't. My career the last ten years wouldn't have existed. So. Well, that's a beautiful thing. We appreciate that, that man. Hey, uh, uh, I would just. Uh, I've asked. I, I'm going to look at ADP. Okay. But uh, first. And um, it looks to me like we got a nice little inverted head and shoulder formation that developed, at, you know, the head at 48. Like uh, Bud always used to say, you look hard enough, there's head and shoulders all over the place. Yeah. But on a weekly, we've gone up on fumes. And, um, you know, we can go a little bit higher yet. Okay. Yeah. Now, and then we'll pull back to the 52 where, like Tom, you always say, where we broke out from. And what the heck, we could go a lot lower. We'll, time will tell. Um. But there was a guy, so that being said, I think we kind of, you kind of agree with my assessment on ADP here? Yeah, no, ADP wants to go back to 44. No, I can see what you're looking at, right. Okay. It's a false break top side. Okay, right? now there was a guy on about two weeks ago, and he says, you know, he says, I don't believe in this market, but he says, we're going to go higher, and we're going to rally into Apple's earnings, and then and we're going to top out. And um, I can see Apple, so then I looked at Apple, right, and I can see Apple actually going to 450, yeah. but I can see it pulling back to at least 400. Real quick, what's your thoughts on Apple? Yeah, three eighty one is game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, I mean, Apple folks has some. You know, I mean, it's an awesome company. There's oh, no two ways yeah, about no that. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You know, but the reality is, is that you know what? I mean, it's it, it, the setup is just beautiful for folks that really don't understand the markets to say that. Okay, listen, we've been going up all of January. Yeah, you can you can look you can look at. Um, the the papers this morning, you know, you know that's all it is is bullish. You know what I mean? Sure. And sure. people are saying, hey, Apple's at four twenty eight. They're coming out with their numbers. I've missed everything. Let's go buy Apple. Yeah. And ba boom, then they get smoked beyond. Well, I, I was short Apple last time. Yeah. And I was offside quite a bit, and uh, and, and and I shorted at around four hundred, and it went up. And it went up, and what happened was Rim Blackberry was having those troubles in Europe. You yes. remember that? Yes. And and of course the same thing you just mentioned. Oh, I got to I got to get into Apple. I got to get into Apple. Right. And the earnings came out, and after being off uh, quite a bit, I watched it after hours, and in, in one minute I <laughs> I actually made quite a bit of money. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah, I covered at three ninety, and then of course it went a little bit lower and stuff. But as you can see, see the volume. The last time the earnings were out, it broke the three eighty level on fumes. Yeah. Uh, Steve Jobs passed away. That's the day it did that low down there at three sixty six. Right. And uh, and so now it looks like the same scenario is building up again. Well, and and what you have is this. Okay, just so so on a common sense basis, folks. Okay, when you're taking over a company anyway, what would end up happening? I mean, if I was walking into a company, you're walking into a company, I'd be looking at that balance sheet. And so you can understand something, folks. There is no such thing, I would say, flat across every public company on a balance sheet. They get a little cookie jar. That oh, cookie, you bet. And that, you and that, bet and that, they and that cookie jar sometimes has bad cookies and good cookies, okay? When you've been in business as long as Apple, they get some bad cookies in there. Yeah. Okay? And yeah, they'd like yeah, to yeah. get rid of them. And if you're a new CEO coming in, you get rid of them. And how do you do it, folks? You throw that into the mix, you get rid of it. Um, I could picture, you know, that what t any type of expenses that he does want to get rid of, yeah. you know, he will. Yeah. I'd, I'd, and, hey, uh, it, it, and when you got time, Steve, see if uh, if your cycle dates match up. Are you expecting anything next week at all? Yeah, absolutely. It's Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. It's Saturday. Saturday. Monday. Yeah. Monday, the new moon. Uh, it's uh, the end of the world, man. <laughs> no, 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 no. Isn't that, is, isn't that later in the year? <laughs> no, 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 there's no end of the world. Not, there's no end of the world. There's no such thing. Okay. You know what, what? You bet you. You bet you. You know, uh, in, in Apple, you got the you got the one point two seven two uh, butterfly four forty five. You know, and it is going up on light volume. Which so is maybe you get a gap away. Wouldn't that be sweet? Oh my God. Yeah. Uh, hey, however it completes it, you right. know, is good is good with me, and uh, you know which. Pulls the cues up and everything. 
Oh yeah. No, listen, man. I mean, it's gonna be, it's gonna be wild watching this whole thing shake out because. You know, we're right here right now. Hey, I mean, no, it, you no, know, no. Uh, this thing, it's this, the setup is there. It's right across the board. Yeah. You know, and the good, uh, I tell you, you know what's going to be wild watching this whole thing shake out, folks? You know, I'm telling you, we're off the bottom economically. I mean, you know, it's yeah, the, the US... long America, and it's sure, happening. Sure, and do you Do you hear, you know, it's amazing? Yesterday, I, I started hearing it. You know, they're saying, oh, the, it's terrible. The, 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 the dollar's going higher because this, is, and it's like, you know, we got to crucify these guys that are saying, they don't want the dollar going higher. Those those guys, yeah. you know, they they're like, they're like the chicken hawks. They are. You know, go send everyone else it. to war. They it. are. No, they're absolutely like no, the no, chicken no. hawks. They drive me crazy. I, I, I'll get off that, but they absolutely drive me crazy. No, man. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I like it. You uh, know, the thing is, so it looks like, so, you know, if we, if we have one more thrust down, uh, which would really be great. Another little shakeout, if you will. Yeah. You know, it, what it would do for the euro, it would send it down. It would go ahead and complete its uh, weekly pattern that's out here. And, uh, and that would be a beautiful thing. And that's actually the cycle that looks like is coming into play, you know, whether it's late Friday, whether it's Monday of next week. And uh, and that, when you've, get, you've got all of these patterns, are really just setting up, which is yeah, so they are. nice. They are. You know, and, and, and right now, where you still haven't seen the the real institutional money come off the sidelines. Right. You know? Right. It's like uh, somebody knows something. Oh, yeah. No, no. Th there's no doubt. You know, I heard, heard them yesterday they're talking about there's no volume. Well, the bottom line is that there's plenty of volume. It just happens to be on the downside all yeah, the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. And, and a huge way, too. You know? So. Cooking, brother. Absolutely. Yeah, I think, oh, Rick, you might hung up. But, you know, so we were talking about the, uh, talking about the, uh, the, the webinar. That, yes. Uh, you know, on uh, next Wednesday. And what I was telling folks during the first hour, you know, what, it, it's, what it's really all about is about not working in the business. Because, you know, what happens so often when we, when we walk in, you know, we close, when everybody gets to the office, right. you just immediately get immersed into the minutia of the business. Right. You know, it's your to-do list. You That's know, right. It's, uh, it's all the interruptions, whether it's emails. You know, take a, take a look at, you know, today's business environment versus 10, 15 years oh, ago. Yeah. Look at the amount of interruptions that each of us kind of noise. Focused, right? Yeah. And what happens is we get so caught up and we start working inside the business almost all the time right. that we never step back and take, take a look at working on the business. Right. And no better example of that than Kodak. Yes. You know, take, yeah. take, you know, take a, an absolute American icon. Huge. Okay. No reason... With all of the uh, with all of the uh, uh, resources, with all of the relationships, with all of the patents, right? With all the resources that they had, that they just were not able to work on the business to really understand what business were they in. That's right. You know, and it's it's a perfect, in my opinion, it's just a perfect example of why people do need to step back. Whether it's this game, the money game that they're working on, or just some other element of the business, if you don't step back and work on your business and figure out what business you're in. What biz Forget time. about the business you were in yesterday and what got you to where you're That's at. That's right. It's oh, about no. what business it are is. you in today it is. and the business that you need to be at in the future. And Yeah, that's right. No, no doubt. And you know what's so cool about that is that it's, there's a peaceful effect on that, folks. Yeah. The, you know, there's absolutely... I know when I, can, when I do that, okay, and I did a little bit yesterday, yeah. what I, when, I, when I do do that, I feel that much more peaceful because now, you know, it's like, okay, good. I, I got the bigger picture here. Yeah. You know, because what does happen is exactly what you said. You know, when you're too deep into it, yeah. then all you're doing is you're doing a task, which yeah. is not where it's at. That's you right. You know, the tasks are important, but the bigger picture is like, how can I get to where I want to be? Yeah, absolutely. You know? Yeah. Which every day, folks, it goes further. <laughs> <laughs> no. It, it, yeah, yeah, exactly. It, Why right. not, right? Well, for us, it goes further, whether the markets go up or down. It's, right. we're still, it's still about growing and about growing totally. the capital base and, right. you know, and so forth. And that's why I was so, so intrigued, you know, by, you know, by some of the guests that you've had on, like you had on yesterday and that you're going to have on in the future. Because right. what it does, it, it provides folks with nice reference points as to yes, you know, what's, what's, big, what, what's big money you know, thinking and doing what are their goals versus what are your goals. That's right. No, no, no. Yeah. That, no, no doubt. So no doubt cool. about that. It is cool. Let's get a uh, Mark in Massachusetts. Hey, Mark, what's going on? Not much, guys. How are you guys? We're doing Excellent. great, man. You having a good day? I, I am recovering. I am recovering from a real bad case of uh, food poisoning. Oh, Ooh. that's not good. That's a bad 24 but hours. Actually, I, yeah, I got it. Tuesday night, I, uh, yesterday, Wednesday morning, my wife comes down and she says, uh, I got the same thing you got. Oh. We, ended up in the ho we, we ended up in the hospital. Really? Oh, man. 
That's yeah, we we my wife probably could have survived. I I was pretty bad. I was I was not a happy camper. I I had the diarrhea. I was vomiting. I was a host for me. And, but and, I'm fine and, now. But and what did from a canned good or something? What did you or? eat? We think I uh, we think it might have been chicken salad that I bought at the grocery store. But chicken I, salad. Yeah. Yeah. So I That's don't know. That's intense, man. That's intense. Yeah, yeah, I was I was not a happy camper. <laughs> no. That's, hey, but now uh, you're lighter. You're lighter on your feet. You know, you lost five pounds. Life's great. Well, <laughs> yeah, I can fit it. <laughs> hey, Steve, I can fit it in my old jeans. Again. See, there you go. So there's there's always a benefit somewhere. It, is it? You know, you know, you know. It's so funny. It's so funny is that that's what everyone says. I can fit it in my old jeans. Yeah, exactly. Jeans. That's a He's great like, saying, isn't yeah, it? Exactly. No, it really is. It is. You know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, I want you to take uh, the FAS and the XLF. I bought um, the FAS yesterday on assumption that BAC and a few of their friends would have good earnings. And BAC did have some pretty good earnings. They beat the street. Yeah. I know, Tommy, you've been thinking that BAC was going to go bankrupt, but the uh, the old banky smanky, they been, been recovered back a little bit. So, um, I don't know, give me your day opinion on, on the uh, XLF and uh, and what do you guys think of it? Okay, so you get your... Oh, the XLF. Okay, one second. I want to well, talk about, well, I, I, I want to talk well, about BAC, it. too, but okay. Uh, so the the XLF. The XLF, you're going into uh, 1417. You get $50 million. Well, that's not bad. I, I, you know, you're going at the 232, you know. So, um, you know, if, if it closes over 14, then, then it says that that game is still into $14.17. Yeah. You know, as the BAC, so check this out. So technically, you know, that's there. Technically, BAC, bottom line, <coughs> you know, that 743, it, it you know, more likely going to tag. But check this out, folks. This is intense. I looked at the, so the Bank of, Bank of America is bankrupt, okay? And, and I can tell you flat out, you go pull a balance sheet and, and see what they've done here. Now, it, it doesn't mean they're going to be out of business, by the way, okay? But they're bankrupt. They have... 1.8 trillion with a T and mortgages, right? Yeah. And do you know what they put for for the reserve for, for mortgage losses? What? 2.1 billion. Yeah. Someone please go do the math on that. Yeah. That is so cool and it is so corrupt. It is unbelievable. I was working out this morning with Nico yeah. and I heard that number. I says, hold, on, let me get this straight, yeah, yeah, folks. Yeah. The the Federal Reserve balance sheet, I believe, is only like 1.9 trillion, or maybe 2.3. Not even. Uh, yeah. I'm not, I don't okay. Think, I think I think it's under it's under a trillion. It's like so, 959 so it, billion. So it's it's that far yeah. wiped out. Okay. Yeah. So that you know percentage wise, just think about that for a second. So the Bank of America, you know, got a long way to go. Now in your case, you, you're making money. That's a beautiful thing, and that's all that really matters. You know, with the FAZ, I mean, you know, can the FAZ uh, FAS, FAS rather get into 83? Yeah, it can. Yeah. I wouldn't hang around too long in the deal. I mean, I, I think I think we're right at the point right now that uh, you know. You're going to wake up in the morning, and we're going to be down, you know, 50, well, probably 20 S&P points or something, so. Well, well, I, I was thinking, I, you know, I've watched it the last couple of days in the post market, and it always goes up about 10 to 20 cents in the post market. And I was going to see how it closes today, maybe sell in the post market is what I was thinking about doing. Oh, there you go. Nothing yeah, like I, it. I watched it. That's what I've been watching. I, I watched that, the FAS, the FAZ, and SBXU. Perfect, and man. Cook it, hey, brother. Thanks, nice, guys. Take care. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Hope you feel and, better. And, and what he is doing, we're going to talk about this when we come back, because I want you to, uh, to understand what he's doing that's really cool, and you can get an extra 10 cents. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. he's understanding them more than that, and he's putting that out there higher than he should be getting it, and they're, they're biting on Absolutely. it. Absolutely. We're going to be right back, folks. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market, something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the Technical Corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. You'll 
you'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind and get the edge you've been looking for. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we pay you more for converting your jewelry to cash. Let's go to uh, Brian in New Jersey. Hey, Brian, what's going on? Hey, Tom, I uh, just want to let you know I did uh, give you some jewelry. Uh, my jeweler offered me uh, about $650. I should get a check in the mail tomorrow for about 1200 At Tiger Metal Exchange, it's all about honesty when converting your jewelry to cash. Okay, let's go to Paul in Florida first. Hey, Paul, what's going on? I want to commend you on the Tiger Metal Exchange. I just did a deal with you guys the other day. Oh, good. I'm very happy. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Now, yeah. did you sell us jewelry or did you buy coins off us? Yeah, I sold you jewelry. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. See, what we weighted at was less than you guys said, so, you know, you're totally honest. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we give you the tools to value your gold, and it's absolutely free. Call 866-618-8888 or log on to TigerMetalExchange.com. We've created the easiest, safest, and most honest cash for gold process. Tiger Metal Exchange. It's the only call you need to make. Would you like to discover the next great tech stock? David White, TFNN's technology guru, has just launched his new newsletter, The Technology Insider. In his newsletter, David will be looking for those shining stars that may turn into the next Apple, Microsoft, or Cisco. David combines his technology background as a software programmer with his market skills as a successful professional trader to give you this unique newsletter. We're on the verge of the next great tech run. With the Technology Insider, you'll be in front of the run-up and not lagging behind. David is developing a long-term investment portfolio. Therefore, we're only offering the Technology Insider as an annual subscription with a remarkable price of only $395. That's right. For a little over $1 a day, you'll receive the fundamental technology wisdom and technical trading skills of the Technology Insider, David White. What are you waiting for? Go to the front of TFNN.com, click on the link on the front page, sign up for your two-week free trial, and become a Technology Insider today. Great Basin Gold is a mining company engaged in the exploration and development of two emerging gold properties in Nevada and South Africa with a total resource base of more than 23 million gold ounces. Great Basin Burnstone Mine in South Africa opened in February of this year with a resource of 20 million gold ounces, becoming the first mine to open in the historic Whitwaters Rand Basin in the last 30 years. The Burnstone Mine is projected to have a 25-year mine life and is fully financed with production anticipated to be over 250,000 ounces per year at a cash cost of only $450 per ounce. The Hollister mine in Nevada became fully integrated in the fourth quarter of 2010 with annual production estimates of 110,000 ounces of gold per year over the eight-year mine life at a cash cost of only $527 per ounce. Great Basin Gold is cash flow positive and trades on the Toronto and New York Stock Exchanges under the symbol GBG. Catch Kate Stalter on the Small Cap Roundup, Tuesdays and Thursdays, 11 a.m. Eastern, up next on TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We have Kate coming up 11 to 12. Basil's uh, uh, going to uh, be filling in for Larry. And then, of course, we've got Ken Sharif, 3 to 4, and uh, we'll be back at 4 to 6. Let's go to Carlos in California. Hey, Carlos, what's going on? Uh, good morning, guys. Good How morning. Are you? I'm doing great. We're doing great. How are you doing? Good? Oh, very well. Thank you. Uh, uh, I just heard the last caller uh, asking you about Bank of America. Yes. And um, my uh, question is related to Bank of America and what used to be Washington Mutual. Do you think they're going the same path? No, because yeah. they, what happened is that they don't, they don't have any money, okay? But they're going to be in business because it's going to be like a zombie bank for years until that you know, mortgage thing gets straightened out. I mean, that's the reality. You know, Washington Mutual went out of business. That, that's not going yes. mean, to. That's not going to happen. No. Yes, because I live here in Garden Grove, California, right next to uh, Anaheim. Yes. And uh, we used to be surrounded by Washington Mutual and Bank of America. Right. And it seems like uh, the nearest Bank of America I have by my house. Okay. Is being closed. Okay. And looks like when we had Washington Mutual, they yeah. just, they didn't close them, but they turned from one day to the other just to. Uh, um, 
JP Morgan Chase. And that brings to the community a little bit like fear. Like, oh, yeah. you're not going to have these banks around. Right. And, that, and, 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 you know, what Carlos is talking about, folks, Bank of America, you know, California was its threshold. I mean, that, yeah, ba on, bank, that, that was, that was, that's go long America in California. So is, so is it J.P. Morgan Chase now who's getting a bigger uh, presence out there? Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. They, they're getting a bigger presence here, too. No. Yeah, they, I, I think Bank of America, man, they're just going to keep cutting back, and they will keep cutting back. They, they're cutting back because just as the, um, you know, we were just talking about the balance sheet versus the write-off. Well, that's not a write-off. We know that mortgages have gone down more than a 2.3%. <laughs> Percent billion. Have, yeah. It's not even what, that. What, what, out of 1.8 yeah. trillion. Yeah. I mean, I don't even think it's one tenth of one percent. Yeah. Okay. Well, and uh, there's one more thing I want to mention. Yes. I want to thank you guys for all that you do for uh, uh, in TFNN. It's been such a great thing to see you on my computer. I've been a tiger for over ten years. Actually, oh, I started listening cute. to you before I even speak a, a word of English. Oh, really? And the, yeah. And the, and the thing that captivated me was when you make like. Rah! I was like, wow, what, what is that? <laughs> that is so cool. And, and where I are you from? I so, I'm, I'm from the south, uh, actually the, the northwest part of Mexico. I love right it. Right next to Guayabitos. Okay. It's it's uh, close to Puerto Vallarta. Okay, oh, cool. cool. Yes, and uh, I listen from there. And then when I arrived here, I married my wife. And then I keep listening to your radio station. That's a and beautiful it's, it's thing, man. It's such a great thing. It's such a great thing. And one more thing, um, I want to give you a real quick uh, 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 my penny about the, how the economy looks like now. Oh, yeah. Cool. If you go to the area of Anaheim, looks yep. like the Harbor Boulevard. It's oh. it's like another another country. But if you drive towards Stanton or Garden Grove, which are cities right next to it, more yes. residential. Yes. Business are dead. Completely dead. And the and business I, is there, right? Yes, no business. Uh, a lot of business shutting down. Oh, it's business especially, shutting down. Okay. Yeah, especially uh, uh, like chain stores. Okay. Yeah, they're they're gone. Uh, they close uh, one uh, Lowe's very close to my house. Yeah. We only have one Home Depot, and especially small business are you see popping up like a small Asian restaurants, a small uh, American uh, yeah. restaurants, but the big stores are gone. Yeah, and that's you know what, Carlos. Yeah. But that's probably because. You know, you, you can get a lot of the stuff that well, those big stores paying rent that you can get at smaller stores. I mean, it's got to be interesting. It's tough to be a brick and mortar business. You yeah. got to be real careful yeah. to make sure, you know, you got to be a real service oriented business, restaurants, yeah. those types of. Exactly. To be a brick and mortar business uh, for just goods is tough. Yeah. You're in a great spot, goods. man. I used to live right across the street in Disneyland. 40 years ago. And I used to be wow. at Disneyland all the time. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Carlos, well, thanks so thank much. We so appreciate much. it. And I'll much. call again later. Thanks it's a beautiful thing, brother. That's great. It's Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. You stay right there, folks. We appreciate all your growling and prowling. Kate is coming right up with you. Basil, Ken Shreve, and then we'll be back at 4 Your growl is a universal language, baby. A beautiful thing, man. That's right.